Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing an Ulta haul and a very big one at that. Also, please note that my background is different just because I didn't feel like putting up my backdrop and I didn't feel like fixing anything. So, uh, I apologize if that bothers you. Just let me know down below if it does or not. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into the haul. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is actually two hauls, which is why it is going to be so big of an order. I mean, it's really not a big order, but, like, the price range is definitely big. Um, I have everything into one box. Right here. Okay, so I got everything here beside me. Ugh, the background is so ugly. Okay, Okay. so the first thing I have here is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Latte. So I got that. I got two of the Jeffree Star um, and Morphe collab set Refresh and Mist Starberry scent. Got two of them. Um, they were on sale for $10.80 a piece. So I got two. Also, with Jeffree Star, I got two brushes. I got the. What is this? J7, I think it says which is the eyebrow pencil and then the JS4 which is the highlighter next I picked up this Slay All Day by Lottie London lip liner and liquid lipstick kit this is in the shade Work It Next, I picked up the e.l.f. Camo Concealing Sponge. Um, this has been, like, going around everywhere. And people are saying that it's, like, really freaking good. And I was like, alright, I'll jump on that bandwagon and I'll get it myself. Uh, next, I picked up these Kiss Nails. Uh, this is the medium length. Um, this is the Glam Fantasy Ultimate Illusion. This is the special effects ones. I think those are so cute. Um, at this point, I am four weeks and six days out. Um, and I had three nails come off today and yesterday. So I am only left with this one, this one, and this one. I have filed to try to get some of it off. And, and these are how my nails are looking. How's your quarantine nails going? Next, I picked up this Sleek Makeup Face Form Contouring Blush and um, Contour and Blush Palette. <clears throat> I got it in the shade Light. Next, I decided to pick this up to wash my brushes because it has been about five months since I've washed them. Sorry, I'm a scumbag. Um, uh, but uh, this is the Eagle Tools Makeup Brush uh, Shampoo. Next, I picked up this Morphe Bacon Set Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. And next, I decided to pick this up just because it was on sale and also because, like, I haven't tried to wax my brows in, like, a year or two. And, I mean, they're not bad how they I, how I have them now. And all I do is tweeze and, like, trim. But this is the Sally Hansen Stripless Wax. Um, this is the Microwavable Eyebrow Face and Lip Kit. Got that. Next, I picked these up. I am loving the Kiss number 11s that I have. So I decided to pick up the Kiss eyelashes in the style 01. 
These are like really long and wispy. And honestly, I've been loving these like, well not these ones, I have another um, brand of eyelashes up there. Um, Alexis eyelashes, it looks like this. These were for Shop Miss A and these were $5 for this. Um, so yeah, I definitely wore those. That one pair that I have that's missing, I've worn them twice already. And yeah, I like those. Next, I picked up two of these this time. I did use the banana one that I got last time. However, I ended up giving it to my mom just because the banana scent kind of got overwhelming. So I picked up these two. This is the Tree Hut Coco Colada Shea Sugar Scrub. I have not smelled these yet. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. I could eat that. Oh my god. That smells fucking good. I don't know if it's my hormones or what, but that just smelled so fucking delicious. <clears throat> yeah, that I'd want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna eat it. The other one I got was the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Tropical Mango. I have been loving like citrus stuff the last week or two. Like I've been eating oranges left and right. It smells good, but it doesn't smell as good as that one though. Guys, I'm excited. This next thing I actually want to taste, but I'm not. It looks so freaking good, and honestly, it smells delicious, so that's a plus. This is the Truly Unicorn Whipped Body Butter. Now, I had a couple of people send me this one and the CBD one on Snapchat, and I was like, ooh, I want to get that. However, um... Okay, like I was saying, this is the whipped body butter, and I want to try the CBD one. I did order it, however, it is still processing due to the coronavirus and everything it is. And all the orders I've been placing, they are, uh, they're a little busy. But, um, look at this. This makes me want to freaking eat it. <sighs> Come smell this. This spray. This is an all-time favorite and it is also a repurchase. This is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I actually used my other one that I have today and I was or yesterday and I was like there's hardly anything in here. Glad I have another one coming. It's always good to have a backup of your favorites. Next, I decided to grab the NYX Dewy Finish Finny Volute Long Lasting Setting Spray. Honestly, I have been loving the glowy type, luminous, like, so I've been feeling all dewy. Okay. It's also another, it's not a repurchase, I just had to repurchase it because I got the wrong shade last time. But this is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Collagen. I picked up the shade 20 Classic Ivory. Um, so yeah, got this. And this looks more my shade, honestly, even on camera it does. So fingers crossed, finally I get to try the damn thing. This is also a repurchase because last time I got the wrong one. Well, the first time I got the wrong shade. The second time I thought I ordered it, and I didn't, I ordered the original. And then this time, I finally got the one I was trying to order. Okay. Oh, I think she, she was busted. Look at this. Oh, maybe it's a little loose. No, I don't know. But uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. And this is in the shade F7. 
Okay, next I picked these up just to see, like, I want to try them, but I want to do it slowly and, like, on my own terms, you know? This is the Ardell Professional Faux Mink Individuals, the short slash medium-ish. It's these. So, to go with the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation, I also got another one of the concealers. And this one is in the shade C3. Now, my original Conceal and Define concealer, I have it in, like, C6, I think. And it's a pretty good match. Um, maybe a little too light, um, depending on my skin. But, uh, so. Next, I decided to pick up another MAC product, only because I didn't notice this the first time around. This is the Milani, Milani, the MAC Pro, what the fuck, sorry, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Setting Spray, and this one is in the scent Pineapples, okay, like, isn't this freaking cute? Okay, this next thing I decided to pick up just to um, use um, when I do like lip scrubs and stuff. Um, this is the Daily Concepts um, Daily Lip Scrubber. Picked this up. This is cute, right? It was only like two bucks, I think. Next, I decided to get the Essence The Blush, and this is in the shade 40 Beloved. Next, I picked up two liquid lipsticks, I believe, matte. Yep, they're both matte, and this is there by the brand e.l.f. I picked up the shade Blushing Rose, and the shade Marvelous. So I got these two liquid matte lipsticks. Okay, so next I decided to pick this up because honestly it was on sale for like $3. I think that's why I got it. I don't remember. Um, this is the NYX Glitter Primer. And to try this out for the very first time I got... It's so much smaller than it looks online, but I got the NYX Metallic Glitter, and this is in the shade... MGLI03, I think. It's this. Here. Next, I picked up the Catrice Prime. Prime and Fine, Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder, and this is in Waterproof also, and it is in Translucent. So this is the top, this is the powder. Next, I decided to pick this up. I love the face masks that I have already on this brand, so I like, can't wait to try this one. Ooh. It smells really good too. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Revitalizing Pomegranate Peel Off Gel Mask. And the scent is, is. I think it's pomegranate? Yeah. It's pomegranate. The, there's two things left. Um, one of them was free because of a palette that I got. Um, we'll get to those in a second. But this is the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush, and this is in the shade Just Peachy. Okay. This came free because of the palette I got, which I will show you first, actually. Actually, I'll show you the spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I've been wanting to try this out, but I did not want to actually buy it. And, uh... So I got this free because I purchased this palette by Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run. Uh, this is the most expensive fucking palette I have, I think. Yeah, this was $49. Okay. And those those were under 
$49, but this is the most expensive one I own. $49. This is the color scheme. And a lot of these shades are literally like right there for me. Like I have been using nothing but my Morphe and Jacqueline palette, volume two. So I'm excited to try out these other palettes. Okay, next I picked up this palette because it was also on sale and I've been wanting to give it a shot. Um, however, I didn't want to pay <clears throat> the full price for it yet. So, this is also the mini version of it. And I do have the um, Wet n Wild palette that's like a dupe to his palette, I believe. Um, this is the Morphe and James Charles palette collaboration. Um, this is the mini version. Um, I got this for like $12, I think. Okay, so here is the palette. Whew, it is definitely mini. It has a good size mirror in here. And here are the shades. Okay, next I picked up the Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration. I was debating on getting this palette and that palette, however, I don't know, I just, something came over me, okay? I now have more Jeffree Star than I ever have. Thanks, Ulta. Um, so this is the palette itself oh this does have a mirror I did not know it had a mirror okay well thank you this is the color scheme it's beautiful fucking shades like beautiful and a lot of these are like right up my alley actually okay so the very last thing in this haul and honestly I'm I'm like thank god this video is over. I'm sorry you guys. I am just exhausted, okay? Um but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This palette is so freaking hyped and it is one of the absolute best freaking palettes that oh no. Oh no, is mine broken? Um, oh my god, I think it's fucking broken. <gasps> Is it broken? Oh no. Is it fucking broken? I'm gonna cry if it's fucking broken. Oh, thank god. It's not broken. Um. <laughs> The brush that it comes with is covered in the powder. It, I don't think it's my palette. It must have been another one that was like on shelf or something because my palette's fine. But I have so many freaking dupes to this palette, you guys. I look forward to freaking trying this out. But you guys, this was $42. You guys, I have never spent more makeup, more money on makeup until this whole quarantine thing went down, okay? I have high-end fucking makeup. Like, more high-end makeup than I ever thought I would own because, honestly, I love shopping at the drugstore. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of good great amazing products for the cheap and it is definitely worth like worth a few bucks okay like it is it's perfect for the price you get what you pay for however some there's there's a few things that are not good however i want to also talk about this i ordered the mac soft ochre paint pot and i think it was my last haul and I tried it out for the first time the other day, you guys, and it made my eyes so freaking dry. It was 
<laughs> like it was kind of hard to tell with the makeup look that I created which I will insert a picture on the screen so you guys can see how the makeup look I created using you know that eye primer and everything um however it just it was really like like it wanted to come off like it was moving around even though I set it with a powder lightly because so, it it was just dry as hell okay dry as hell and I did not like how my fucking eye looked honestly turned out but people liked it and I'm not I'm not saying it looked bad I just didn't like All it. Alright you guys, so that was it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Everyone, you need to please stay safe out there. Please take precautions if you are going out. And I just hope all of you stay safe and have a great weekend. Love you guys.